Hi everyone and welcome back to Shake It Off with Angela Fall Edition. This is week two of Fall Edition and I am excited to share with you guys that I did in fact lose again this week. Um, I will say that I was a little bit nervous and I'll tell you guys why um, in a little bit, but I lost 1.2 pounds. And um, if you guys have been following my journey, you will know that I started this in the beginning of May of 2023 this year. So I have lost a total so far since May of 59 pounds even. So yay, I feel great. I feel good. My body is changing, but we have some things to discuss. So um, I just have my little notes here. So today I did my first, I would say, I don't know, do I call it a cheat day? I'm not sure if I should call it a cheat day or like a do whatever day or a fun day or a not worry day. Um, I have been literally counting every single little morsel of every single little calorie that I put in my mouth on a daily basis for 16 sets for 18 weeks plus and um it's getting easier to do but it can be definitely time consuming um I enter it into an app I scan I measure I weigh I you know do all of the things and I know that I need to do that in order to stay consistent with myself um on this journey of mine and actually this lifestyle change of mine because after the journey, the journey is like after I reach the goal in the journey, the end goal, this journey is going to continue for the rest of my life. I know this. Um, but I have been doing that, you guys, for a long time. And today was the first day that I said, you know what, I am going to let go of that. I figure I'm going to have like once every 16 weeks, I'm going to have a day like today. So um, usually I fast. I am a 24 hour faster. I eat one meal a day. So I do OMAD. And um, today I like I usually eat my first meal at noon. But today I woke up, I had off because the dog was getting groomed, and I decided that Judy and I were going to go out for coffee, and we got, um, I believe it's called a flight. So we got a flight of lattes. One was marshmallow, one was pumpkin, one was cinnamon, and they were amazing. Not overly sweet, but it was just nice, and I, I have no idea how many calories are in each one, and there were three of them, like I said, and I didn't count it, and I am not going to count calories at all today. I'm still going to do sort of my OMAD, which I already am finished, so I cut myself off, um, but I went out to eat with my mom for lunch, which was amazing, and I got a turkey pesto panini, with their homemade little um, potato chips. So the potato chips that, that they make, they're right in the store. They make them, they fry them, they put salt on them. It was like everything and then some. So, so good. And I ate the whole thing. I, I finished my plate. I had the chips and I'll put a picture up here. I had the chips and I had a full sandwich of the panini and then I just had my water. And then after that, like I feel full right now still. It is like we ate at noon and it is um, 3.30 right now and I'm feeling good. I feel like that was enough for me for today. So I cut myself off. Um, so once every 16 weeks, I'm going to have a day like that. And I did vlog it. So tomorrow you guys will be seeing that vlog. Um, but yeah, so I had a cheat day. I will say that while I was having my cheating experience, I did enjoy it. I didn't feel any guilt at all. But this morning when I got up and I started getting ready for my day and um, I was about to like leave to go pick up Miss Judy, I was like, mm, maybe I shouldn't have a flight. Maybe I shouldn't do three lattes. Maybe that's too much. Maybe I should just, you know, stick to like a cold brew, even though like the cold brew at this place sucks because we didn't go to Starbucks. We went someplace else. Um, 
I thought maybe I, maybe I shouldn't do that. You know, maybe I, and then I started feeling guilty and I was just like, oh damn, like that sucks. Um, that I can't do that, that I can't enjoy it. So I kind of turned my brain around and was like, no, Angela, you need to enjoy this. This is like your time, you know, to do this. And then I just kind of thought, okay, I'm going to do it. And I did, and I enjoyed it. And it was just so nice to like, not have to worry about calories. So I do, you know, want to give myself a break. Like I said, once in a blue moon. Um, but know that, you know, once you put in the work, like count the calories and put in the work and know what I'm putting in my body, um, that's when I see results. So I know that this is a one-time situation and it's not going to happen a lot. And I was actually surprised because the lattes didn't have a lot of sugar in them. I was surprised that I didn't like get a piece of cake or get some cookies or you know what I mean? Something like that. So I was pleasantly surprised that I did not do that. I wasn't really craving like sugar per se because I have been trying to cut out sugar out of my diet completely um, just because of the scare of diabetes that, you know, is always in the back of my mind that I could possibly get diabetes. I have aunts that have had diabetes, great aunts. Um, and I also have grandparents that have had diabetes and my father also had diabetes really bad, um, during his life. So I know that that's always a possibility. So I'm always thinking about that in the back of my mind. Anyway, so the cheat day happened today, which is Friday when I was recording. Um, so this week I also was extremely hungry. Not, not that I was having cravings, but that I was hungry. And that happened in the beginning of the week. And I started to think that I was going to reevaluate my calorie count for um, my, like my total calorie count for my deficit. And I'm not going to tell you how many calories I was consuming because I know that you guys are going to come after me and be like, yeah, bitch, that is not enough calories. Like you were starving yourself. Um, so I did up my calories a little bit. It was kind of hard to do though, because in the beginning I had like all this food in front of me and then it was like, because I only eat once a day. So I was like, okay, I need to eat this plus an extra 300 calories. So instead of adding like 300 calories every single day, um, I decided that I'm only going to up it a tiny little bit. So it's going to be like 50 calories I'm going to add every week until I get to the calorie count that I want to be at. And then when I start, you know, losing more and more and more weight, then it will start to go down by 50 calories um, a week. So I'm going to do kind of like a scale um, and I'm going to try that out. I'm going to see. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I don't know. So by so tomorrow I am going to do instead of what I was doing, I'm going to do my total calories that I was doing plus 50 more. And then we're going to increase until I get to what I think I should be. And then we're going to decrease once again and see what happens. Um, another thing that I changed this week, usually what happens, um, my schedule, I get home around noon between 12 and 1230 for work every day. And that's when I eat my meal. So I'll, you know, warm up my meal because I meal prep. And then I will sit down in my oversized chair and I will turn on Netflix or YouTube and I will eat while I'm watching TV. And I have never been the type of person that would sit at the kitchen table and eat dinner um, or my meal because that's, I mean, that's what I did when I was little, you know, like when I lived with my parents, I'm, you know, an adult now and I can do whatever the hell I want. So I would just sit in front of the TV and I found that when I was eating my food, sitting in front of the TV, I wasn't actually like thinking about what I was doing. I was just shoveling it in and then calling it a day. And by the time the meal was over, it was like, I didn't even really enjoy it because I was watching TV. So I started sitting at the kitchen table and I kind of like, 
you know, made my place really nice, got a nice place setting and, you know, made it, you know, pretty, whatever. Had my little drink, you know, had my meal on a really nice plate and just kind of went from there. And I also listened to my uh, binging podcast sometimes when I would eat my meal. Sometimes I didn't. But I found that I enjoyed my meal a lot more. I also found that I think I was eating a little bit slower than I was when I was watching TV. So if that's something that you do, maybe try to sit at your kitchen table and see if that helps. I don't know. Um, let's see. So body changes and workouts. This is another kind of like issue that I'm having. Um, Judy and I were going to contact one of our friends who is a personal trainer, but unfortunately she had um, a family emergency and she has been out. So we kind of want to try some new machines because you guys, to be honest, so I've been swimming one day and then doing weights the next. Um, weights three times a week, swimming twice a week, and then I've been like walking the dog. I have been doing home exercise tapes. Um, when I walk the dog, I feel like it's kind of leisure because he likes to sniff like literally every few steps. He'll have to stop and sniff the grass. And I feel like I don't really get my heart rate up as high as I would like to get it to. But, um, and when I, when I do my home workouts, I do feel like I get a pretty good workout when I do like an exercise tape. But I will say that as much as I absolutely positively love swimming, like I'm obsessed with swimming. I love being in the water. I love moving in the water. In the beginning, I felt like I was getting a really good workout. And now I feel like it's just nothing. Like I get in the pool and I do my 45 minutes of laps and I feel like I really didn't do much of anything at all. I feel like my heart rate wasn't really up um, and I wasn't getting a good workout. And then I, I started like feeling also too that it was a waste of my time. Like I could have gotten a better workout and not like gotten up early. I don't know. I don't know. And then there's the dilemma with the weights. So I'm like the machines that we're on, it's like, a, I think it's called like a circuit training machines where there's nine different machines in the circuit. Um, two of legs and all the other ones like are of arms and abs and like things like that. Um, so you can go up to 90 pounds on all of these machines and some of them I'm already at 90 pounds. Some of them, I, I think like the lowest is 60. So I've got some 60s, some machines that are 70s, some machines that are 80s and some that are already 90s. I feel like I've like graduated those also. So I do those in the morning also and I notice that I'm not sweating. I'm just kind of doing them and I feel like I'm not getting a good workout in. So I do need to change things up. I'm just at the dilemma now where so my workouts are done at my at my job, at my at my work facility. And I like doing them in the morning, so I get them done and over with. My problem is, and I know this sounds kind of petty, but I feel like if I do a workout and I sweat a lot, then obviously I'm going to have to take a shower, and that's going to take more time, and that means that I have to get up even earlier because I'd have to start my workout earlier and then jump into the shower and do all that and packing everything and doing all that stuff. So I, I don't know, you guys, I don't know. And then I'm thinking, well, I can just do my workouts like after work, but then after work, like I eat. And then after I eat, I'm just like so tired that, cause I got up early and you know, I don't know. I don't know what I should do. So should I, I guess I'm open to suggestions, um, to see like, I'm trying to figure out time and work and then I don't have to go back to the gym after work because that's the problem is that I don't want to go to my place of employment when I left my place of employment for the day. You know what I mean? So it's hard when you work at a gym. Um, but yeah. So anyway, let's see. Um, I think I 
went through everything on my list and this video is almost 15 minutes long. So I am going to end this video here. Please leave a comment down below if you guys are on a weight loss journey also and let me know how you are doing and any questions or concerns that I had in this video. If you guys have any comments, please leave them down below because I am open to tons of suggestions, tons of advice. Um, yeah, whatever you guys think. Don't forget also to thumbs up this video if you watched it and uh, subscribe to this channel because it is greatly appreciated. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and God bless. Bye everyone.